seems common these days that we often hear about uh, disasters occurring within our local communities and throughout the world. Uh, we recently just uh, had wildfires in our county and uh, therefore a planned response to disasters situations associated with natural disasters, war related incidents, nuclear, bio, chemical, and hazardous material spills is necessary. These plans describe the overall responsibility for protecting life, property, and the overall well-being of the population. These systems are in place to provide an effective management systems, which identifies the lines of authorities, it assigns tasks and responsibilities, and ensures adequate man maintenance of facilities, services, and resources for recovery operations. Our, our disaster plan is based on the standard emergency management system, which man it is mandated by the State Office of Emergency Services to provide a universal structure for emergency management. SIMS is based on the incident command system, which is comprised of five elements, the incident commander, operations, planning, logistics, and finance. We currently have three levels of emergencies. Level one is minor to moderate, where local resources are adequate, and it usually involves the activations of our hazardous incident response team. Level two is moderate to severe, where local resources are not adequate, and typically involves severe storms, earthquakes greater than 5.0. With the level two emergency, we do have in place is an environmental health department of operations center. Level three emergency is a major disaster where a local emergency proclamation is made. And we have full activation of our emergency operations center and our department of operations center. Some of the specific hazards that we have to deal with in San Diego County include uh, three earthquake fault lines. We have 22 large dams. We have 200,000 flood prone properties. We have our San Onofre nuclear power generation station and our North Island uh, vessels that come in. In 2003, we experienced a major disaster wildfire causing 5,500 homes disaster, uh, totaled and 17 deaths. The San Diego County operational area is comprised of 18 unincorporated cities and 17 unincorporated communities. It's approximately 4,200 square miles it ranges in elevation from sea level to 6,500 feet. We currently have a population of well over 3 million people. Our plans organization is comprised of 16 annexes, of which I'll provide you a brief description of today. Annex A, emergency management. Emergency management communicates and coordinates with federal, state, and local governments. It currently describes the emergency operation responsibility under SIMS and it's automatically activated when a jurisdictional or operational plan is activated. When a proclamation of a local emergency is made, it also provides immunity to public employees and the board for emergency actions taken. It also enables the board to reassess damages, the property, and to provide tax relief. It also allows our chief administrative officer under Ordinance 8183 to establish curfews, to take measures to protect public health and safety, issue rules, expand funds, and obtain supplies and equipment. The organizational of emergency management is as follows. Our policy group acts as the incident commander with operations, planning, logistics, and finances. Annex B, fire and rescue operations and our mutual aid operations. It provides for the mobilization, organization, and operations of fire and rescue resources. They coordinate mutual aid within the operational area. They establish radio networks and communications to minimize loss of life and human suffering. One of our special units is a 62 member urban search and rescue. It's activated by the State Office of Emergency Services with six hours to mobilize for departure. Mission periods range from five to 10 days and they're required to be self-sufficient for 72 hours of the mission. In San Diego County, we have five swift water rescue teams that involve locating rescue, provide initial medical stabilization, stabilization of trapped victims in swift water. Our Metropolitan Medical Strike Team is a regional resource. It's multi-jurisdictional, multidiscipline, and primary focus is weapons on mass destruction. Annex C, law enforcement, mutual aid operations. Their primary objective is to preserve life and property and provide maintenance of law and order. 
They coordinate the mobilization of law enforcement for evacuations and perimeter security. They receive and disseminate warning information, provide security for essential facilities and services, and also implement aerial survey of the damage areas. If the need for military force is required under mutual aid, our governor will commit the Coast National Guard only when an emergency exists or is imminent, when all civil resources are reasonably committed, and when civil authority cannot control the situation. They can also be activated when requested by the city's chief executive officer or the county sheriffs. It's a disaster medical system for all causes of injury and illnesses from multi-patient vehicle crashes to large events such as earthquakes where thousands have been injured. It's the most frequently used annex and it can be used when there's five to 10 injuries and it's exercised several times a year. Some of the other agencies responsibility under annex include school districts where we can utilize them for large care facilities, hospitals, uh, environmental health, and uh, other systems here. Annex E is our public health operations. Our epidemiologists would conduct surveillance and investigate disease outbreaks. Our public health nurses would provide mass immunization and secondary treatment and outreach. Our public health lab would conduct environmental testing and surveillance. And our public information officer would prepare public health information for the public. Annex F, medical examiner's operation. They would identify and provide adequate disposition of human remains, determine the cause and the manner of the death, coordinate information notification with local law enforcement and the public health, and provide next to kin notification. If the number of deaths become a human health hazard, a decision for mass burial would be made jointly by the medical examiner, the county's health officer, CAO, state OES, and other applicable city and special districts. Annex G, care and shelter operations. They would provide food, clothing, and shelter and counseling on, and basics needs on a mass care scale. They would provide inquiry service to reunite families and to ensure an orderly transition from mass care to post-disaster recovery. Annex G is automatically activated when there's an emergency situation, a potential situation which requires mass care. It can be activated by the county chief administrative officer down to the incident commander. They also provide first aid, mental and physical health services, and they currently, this is the section that currently has a written agreement with Red Cross to use public schools for designated facilities. Annex G, environmental health. Environmental health provides the base control for coordinating environmental health services for various departments. Our food and housing division would supervise food deliveries, coordinate inspections for food purity, inspect and advise on general sanitation issues, and inspect health hazards and damaged buildings. Our land and quality division would oversee sewage disposal, quarantine of contaminated areas, evaluations of portable water supply, and procedures to provide sanitary transport of water. Our hazardous materials division Environmentals would provide, conduct environmental surveys to identify the hazardous materials release and supervise cleanup, evaluate risks to public health and the environment, provide radiation monitoring and decon, and conduct field sampling and on-site screening. Our community health division would supervise and control vector-borne diseases, disposal of dead animals, Identify and control and eliminate pest breeding sources and infestation. Our local enforcement agency would work, would work with permitted facilities to approve permit waivers, monitor the handling, storage, and disposal of construction demolition waste, municipal solid waste, and green waste, coordinate the disposal of special waste, and monitor landfill gas movement. Annex I, communications. All San Diego County departments are in our regional, regional communication system, which is an 800 megahertz truncated system with hundreds of talk groups and thousands of radios on the system. Emergency alerts and instructions are given to the public by various means, and they're taken very serious, even by the animals that are often caught up in these peculiar situations. Other radio systems in San Diego County include the military, 
conventional fire mutual aid frequencies, local enforcement mutual aid, and amateur radio systems. Annex J, construction and air engineering operations. Their primary function is uh, to provide engineering and public service work to restore and maintain and operate essential services such as roads, bridges, storm drain facilities, wastewater plants, airports, and to provide rural transportation. When the need is necessary to restore or reconstruct emergency facilities, they also have the means to provide temporary wastewater lines, roads, landing strips, bridges, and solid waste storage sites. They've identified emergency workstations and alternate workstations. Annex K, this is the coordination provisions of services, personnel, equipment, and supplies to support disaster responses within the operational area. And as we heard today, this is the section that provides for all the documentation for the necessary recovery of funds. So their primary objective is to procure and allocate essential resources. They would oversee the inventory and distribution of essential supplies and allocate required transportation, fuel, and like equipment resources. They also acquire supplies for care shelters, staging areas, mobile care and medical facilities, maintain communications and other utility services. Annex L, public, emergency public information. When disaster related information is collected, it's disseminated through our operational area emergency operations center with our media team acting as official spokesperson to media, with the media to disseminate emergency information. They make referrals and coordinate with the other jurisdictions. They also maintain a liaison with other federal, state, and local agencies. They coordinate interviews within the operational area. They release only verified information, and they schedule regularly and frequent media briefings. They also write and distribute press releases. Annex M, our mental health operations, distribute mental health resources during a disaster. Their overall goal is to maintain and minimize loss of life, subsequent disability and suffering, and ensure a timely and coordinated mental health assistance during a time of emergency. They also have an administrative service organization, which is a 24-hour telephone crisis line. It also acts as the entry point to mental health services and they report the needs for additional disaster services to our San Diego Medical Health System Disaster Coordinator. Annex N, damage assessment. The purpose for damage assessment is to provide guidelines to facilitate the collection of information regarding damages, to provide information necessary to recovery and to return to normal, with work that must be performed immediately to protect public health facilities and public health and safety is the removal of unsafe debris, protection of bridges and roads, and emergency shoring of unsafe buildings. Emergency work that must be completed within six months of close of a disaster period are only for categories of removing debris and emergency protective measures. Work that must be completed uh, within 18 months for permanent work or for all, all other work categories. Animal services. Animal services is used whenever there is an evacuation, with the county acting as a lead agency for animal control in the unincorporated area and contract cities. They assist in the recovery and the rescue of animals with the Humane Society taking care of larger animals. Other agencies with a responsibility on this annex would include the Zoological Society, State Fish and Game, and Veterinary Medical Associations. And situations such as this would not be covered under our animal service annex. Finally, Annex P, terrorism. Our Metropolitan Medical Strike Team is in place to deal with chemical, biological, nuclear, radiological, and conventional explosive terrorism events. MMST is comprised of specialists from fire, law, public health, hazmat, and environmental health. It includes four phases with three readiness, one response, and is tied to our Homeland Security Advisor. They're currently required to conduct three full exercises on an annual basis. And they are graded uh, every five years by the Federal Emergency Management System for our San Onofre Nuclear Power Generation Station. 
have included a few websites to help us individually to provide to prepare a disaster plan. Although our uh, local communities and governments have disasters in place, uh, it wouldn't be uh, unheard of for our friends and family to look for us for guidance uh, during a disaster. I would also like to uh, provide special thanks to Susan Asterius with our San Diego County Operational Emergency Services for providing me a 272 page PowerPoint, which I condensed into 78, uh, 68 power slides for you today. Thank you.